first handful of lectures, the first 19 to be specific, are, are meant for you to reduce the amount of fear that you have when someone says, oh yeah, go sell something. And it's supposed to build your confidence for success. So at CS 183 Lecture 20, you're actually going to be doing CS Major CRO work. This is a standalone lecture, but obviously it's best in a series, where up until now you've done a good amount of sales work to build that confidence. CRO obviously stands for Chief Revenue Officer as a CS major. So you're going to be doing some of the most douchey business work and doing it obviously better than they do. So in theory, you're going to, in theorem, with an M at the end, a compilation of an existing proof that is at a predestined location and goal theorem. You're actually going to be allocating a chunk of time to do CS major CRO work. So you're going to allocate a chunk of time, a day, less than a day, seven hours, a week, or a summer doing CS major CRO work. And you're going to get to a chunk of revenue, typically dollars number zero through dollars number 2000 or 20,000. So some specific finite block of initial money that lectures one through 19 are helping you do. Therefore, you are now CS major CRO. Popping sales cherry, popping the revenue cherry. I know that sounds kind of disgusting because it's like intercourse for the first time, but that's what it's all. More, it's more like giving birth where getting the first handful of dollars is so nearly impossible that the majority of the best of the best, uh, the majority of venture funded companies never get to dollar number one in revenue. Popping that revenue cherry is what you have done progressively in each subsequent lecture in CS183S. Using premiums, Brady's got a premium that somebody gave him that CS, CS183S lecture six, battling apathy. So all these are to meant to build your success confidence. Doing CS major CRO work for an entire summer is the ideal uh, internship sequence where the summer after your, this is all inside of how to get a legendary internship. So your most technical forms of CS internships come later after you've taken the better CS classes and maybe even been a CSTA. But initially in the first or second summers, uh, best is summer after your freshman year, which is how I did it. You want to do CS major CRO work and lectures one through 19 prepare you. CS 183S lecture 20 is actually performing CRO stuff, which you can do over a weekend also. In lecture one, talked about how selling for somebody else, selling something that exists, uh, builds your confidence and builds your skill set. So now that we're in CS 183S lecture 20, you have now fully culminated in a handful of things that you've successfully sold. Now you can be uh, CRO. So you're bookending it with, with trying to sell and actually executing sales. But now that you've got those under your belt, you are way more prepared for if there is an entrepreneurship opportunity where you'll be having to sell your own thing. You don't want to all of a sudden need to create all these sales skills and gather up all these sales skills while you'll have these under your belt for CS 23S. You get to this it might be 2018 or 2019 if you're digging through these archives this at this point in time startup death spiral is still a real thing where bitly bit.ly slash s blank 713 there is no part four meaning it's a dangling participle of a series starting on page 126 of four steps to the epiphany Hiring out for a VP of sales isn't going to work. Having co-founders that don't sell, that doesn't work either, as exemplified by the current more than 50% fatality rate for startups inside of the best uh, business accelerators and business incubators. 
So solving startup death spiral is what CS183S does. What is a CS major CRO documented doing? In the same way that you're doing code and uploading the best snippets to GitHub and Stack Overflow, you'll actually sell more Omega watches than James Bond. And I say that with a twinkle in my eye because James Bond is on a billboard and he doesn't have a CS degree. And he sort of sells and he doesn't. He just, it, there's an impression, maybe it's a positive impression, maybe it's a very striking impression, but he does not convert on the sale of the Omega watch. So you can arbitrage and sell more than him doing lectures one through 20. The confidence building continues with selling more baseball cleats than Derek Jeter, the baseball player. So Derek Jeter has had a tour uh, selling Nike baseball cleats, uh, hashtag respect, but the E's instead of a two or the S, whatever, respect. Very difficult to sell or remember. So if you're a CS major, you have the huge opportunity to sell more baseball cleats than a Hall of Fame first ballot person, Derek Jeter. And that should build your confidence and you're selling against a baseball player where you maybe have never, you've never sold before. You've also never played baseball before. The confidence that comes from that. Going back to the James Bond example in CS183B Lecture 2, Sam Altman talks about how James Bond would be a great entrepreneur, but he doesn't really break down those things for us. That's what comes from these lectures, is it's a series of street smarts that culminates in being a CS Major CRO, where, where you will actually sell more than James Bond on a billboard uh, because those ads don't convert anymore. Tracy Chow talks about how women need to be more involved in technical sales. I sold her a Waze uh, app and that's cool, right? Downtown Paldo. So in doing technical sales, you're actually literally practicing selling while somebody else is paying you. So there's only upside to it. And the reason technical sales is important is it's a foundation for later on when you become an entrepreneur founder. I'll stop being a dead horse. 2016, by the time you see it, it could be 2020 or far in the future when some of this stuff starts to get adopted. Two to five CS majors per team. All of you guys code, by saying guys, I mean all of you co-founders code, guys and girls, men and women. All two to five Co CS major co-founders code. It isn't just one hacker and one hustler. It's everyone has gone through a CS183S class because if you're selling, you could sell employees on signing up. So sales is integral into so many things that you're going to be trying to do as an entrepreneur and selling somebody else's stuff first is probably the best idea.